Tonight is Friday, August the 6th. We join together for night prayers. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Let us be still and offer to God our end of the day confession. Through the dark hours of this night, protect and surround us, Father, Son, and Spirit three. Forgive the ill that we have done. Forgive the pride that we have shown. Forgive the words that have caused harm that we might sleep peaceably and rise refreshed to do your will. Through the dark hours of this night, protect us and surround us. Father, Son, and Spirit, three. Amen. A prayer of thanksgiving for the beauty of the earth from the Book of Common Prayer. We give you thanks, most gracious God, for the beauty of earth and sky and sea, for the richness of mountains, plains, and rivers, for the songs of birds and the loveliness of flowers. We praise you for these good gifts and pray that we may safeguard them for our poster posterity. posterity. Grant that we may continue to grow in our grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation to the honor and glory of your name, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray responsively Psalm 41 found on page 641. Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their hearts collect false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing they say has fastened on him. He is taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend whom I trusted who broke bread with me has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity, you hold me fast and shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the God of Israel from age to age. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Galatians. 
My friends, if anyone is detected in a transgression, you who have received the spirit should restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Take care that you yourselves are not tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if those who are nothing think they are something, they deceive themselves. All must test their own work, then that work, rather than their neighbor's work, will become a cause for pride. For all must carry their own loads. Those who are taught the word must share in all good things with their teacher. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For you reap whatever you sow. If you sow to your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the spirit, you will reap eternal life from the spirit. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right. Right. For we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. So then, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all and especially for those of the family of faith. The word of the Lord. This is a prayer from the Lakota tradition. This talks about the sacred space. And for certain tribes, the sacred space is that period between inhalation and exhalation. It's that period of pause between breathing in and breathing out. Great mystery. Teach me how to trust. How to trust my heart my mind, my intuition, my inner knowing, the senses of my body, the blessings of my spirit. Teach me to trust these things so that I may enter my sacred space and love beyond my fear. And in loving beyond my fear, Allow me to walk in balance, in balance with the passing of each glorious sun. Amen. This is a prayer for those whose lives are affected by COVID. We give thanks for those who care for the sick at this difficult time, for diligent family practitioners and experienced specialists, for careful nursing staff, for cheerful housekeeping workers, for attentive care aides, for skilled x-ray technicians, for administrators and support staff, Holy One, we know that in hospitals and care homes, in emergency rooms and in intensive care units, the work of healing is dangerous and challenging. And we thank you today for those willing to serve. We acknowledge the sacrifice and continued pressure that is the lot for those who care. And we thank you for work they do for us and for the communities to which we belong. Holy One, may your love sustain them, your peace surround them, and your Holy Spirit inspire them through the most challenging times. Amen. I invite you to unmute yourselves.
as we offer intercessions and thanksgivings for those in need, those on our hearts. We give you thanks for safe travel for Jan, who has returned home for her time among us. For Joyce and Joni. For Tobin. For Gretchen. Kip and Will. Margaret and the Conference Center staff. Eddie. Linda. Kelly. Linda. Safe travels from Megan and her family tomorrow. Doris. Kathy. Prayers for Ed and Beth and their own grand camp. Mary. We give thanks to these beautiful mountains. Pray for the teachers that are returning to work next week. For their students. Courtney. Linda and Lindsay. For the continued healing of Mary P. We offer you these prayers this night. Amen. Amen. We end with a Celtic blessing. May the blessing of light be on you, light without and light within. May the blessed sunlight shine on you like a great peat fire, so that stranger and friend may come and warm himself at it. And may light shine out of the two eyes of you like a candle set in the window of a house bidding the wanderer come in out of the storm. And may the blessing of the rain be on you. May it beat upon your spirit and wash it fair and clean and leave there a shiny pool where the blue of heaven shines and sometimes a star. And may the blessing of the earth be on you, soft under your feet as you pass along the roads, soft under you as you lie out on it, tired at the end of the day. And may it rest easy over you when at last you lie out under it. May it rest so lightly over you that your soul may be out from under it quickly, up and off and on its way to God. And now may the Lord bless us and keep us and bless us kindly. Amen. <laughs>